Why would you or I want to buy an overpriced property? Because sometimes an overpriced property actually becomes a lower priced, better priced property. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. So we're excited to welcome you to another episode of Life's Inside Track, where we share techniques, thoughts, tips, tools, some tactics, and some truths that we all need, we all deserve, you, I, everyone, so we can turn our house into home where our families thrive and we live the best life possible. In this episode, we're going to learn why, like why might an overpriced property or potentially an underpriced property become the best price property for you? Mm-hmm. It, it, it's not intuitive. That's what's kind of fun about this conversation. It's not, it doesn't make sense. An overpriced property becomes a low priced property. Explain, Ken Decker. Yeah, well, you know what? Even in a hot market, you can ask too much. And you've got to look at what are buyers trained to do, right? And right now, they look at a price on a property and typically they might go, okay, can I afford it? Can I afford 50,000 more? Can I afford 100,000 more? Can I afford 200,000 more? It all depends on where the property is priced based on its true market value. Right? Right. But the, but the buyers are looking at things and going, okay, I got to be able to afford to pay more. So if you put your property at market value, they automatically add a hundred grand to it. And now it's out of reach for them and it's too expensive for that property. Right. So then they won't even go look at it a lot of times. So there's a real, you don't want to underprice property. I say to my sellers, I don't really want to price it less than you're willing to accept for it. So how do we find the number that is realistic for the market, knowing that it may well go more than that? Because if we price it above where people are conditioned, and I'm going to say conditioned almost in this particular market to pay more than asking, it gets bypassed. They pass it on by. And so more saying overpriced, it isn't even necessarily overpriced from what it will sell for. It's just overpriced for the time and this particular Mm. market. So when I have a client that's struggling to find the right property, Mm -hmm. many times I'll go slightly above their price range and look for a property that has been sitting for 30 days. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been on the market for 30 days. It tells me in this heated market where everything sells quickly, not necessarily for top dollar. It depends mm -hmm. on how strong the negotiator is on the other side. But things sell if they're priced well. And if so, they're priced appropriately. So I think let's, yeah. can we use the word appropriately? Yeah. If it's priced yeah. for this particular market, it's going to sell relatively quickly. Mm-hmm. And if it's sat for a while, then I know that, hey, maybe they just priced it on the market or maybe they priced it over market. And now I've got a property where my client can go in, look at it, take their time, negotiate the price down from asking And And even do inspections, maybe have some conditions in the offer, which would be nice. Absolutely. And on top of all that, they're not competing with anybody else because it's already sat there for 30 days. So that's where I'm looking for an overpriced property for my client so that they can win. Right. And when we say overpriced, I can't reiterate enough that it's not priced right for this market. It isn't even that it shouldn't have sold there. So the challenge that people don't get is just because you ask for more doesn't mean you get more. No, you usually get less. You usually get less. Like there is a number in any market. And this market's different than many markets. And we've even had some blips in this market. So do we get it right 100% of the time? Absolutely not. So here's our first strategy. This is the first, what we believe is the best solution for your particular home, given where it's located, what it is, what the other relevant data is telling us. 
And we have to have a different strategy to go to if it doesn't work right here, right now, because maybe four more properties came on the market that are relevant, that are in direct competition to this one. And now your strategy doesn't work. Yep. <clears throat> Too low doesn't work either. Right. And I know that sounds weird. Like, why does too low not work? Because the wrong people are seeing it. So, for instance, uh, there's a company out there that that puts their properties a couple hundred thousand, typically below value, and they hold an auction. On purpose. Well, most people have a set criteria for the MLS system that we're sending them searches. Let's say your top budget is 800000 but the type of properties you're looking for may be kind of in that 600 or 700 to 800 range. So we'll do a 100,000 range of properties. Or two or even or 300. Yeah. But then if somebody prices that 700,000, 300,000 below market trying to get an auction going, it doesn't show up in your search. And it shows up in the search for the people that can only afford that amount of money and they, and they think more. they found the the gold the gold bucket at the end of the rainbow and yet it's an auction and so they don't have a hope of getting it because it's going to go you know two three four hundred thousand above what they put it on so that property may get less money and may not sell because it was too low the wrong people are looking at it. Right. So you want to have the right people looking at your house. And when we say right or wrong people, the people are likely either way. <laughs> but the person that can actually desire your property, given what we're currently doing in this market. Yeah, we're matchmakers. Matchmaker, matchmaker, matchmaker make, make me, me a, a match. match. Right? We find the right buyer. And I say the right buyer. That's the one that can afford it, that wants those amenities, that wants that number of bedrooms or wants that style of house and can afford it. That's the match. If they can't afford it or they can afford a lot more and they're looking for much bigger, better houses – then it's not a match either. No. So if you're thinking, I want to have a conversation with you guys, I want to be able to just consider my options, see if you can find us a match. We are available to do free consultations with you. Ken says 30 minutes for him. Me, you can count on more like 60, but we'll start at 30. We set a little extra time there just in case. But really, we'll have a consultation where, and it can be on Zoom, just to figure out, is there a match out there? Like sometimes buyers have an unrealistic expectation. And we're unfortunately or fortunately not afraid to tell you even the stuff you don't want to hear. Mm -hmm. Like recently... Recently, like a, yeah, a recently. Year, year ago or so, yeah. a client of ours, we'll call them T and T. Yeah. Their first initials of this couple is T. So T and T were looking for a property. Yeah. And interesting enough, there was one came up on a country estate lot, beautiful property, exactly what they, what were they wanted. For, everything. Yes. And it popped back on the market because it had sold quickly. It had a couple issues in the home inspection and it came back on the market. Well, we swooped in, grabbed that property and we, we bought it on New Year's Day. And we wanted to make sure we got it done before other people started coming back from holidays. So sometimes timing is good too. And, and they got to pay below market value really at the end of the day because it had already been tired. So getting something on the market that then falls through, that is a, that's a great property to buy if you're a buyer. Mm -hmm. Terrible thing to have happen if you're a seller. So the bottom line here is some of the best properties, the best opportunities lies in the underpriced and the overpriced properties that are out there. We're grateful to be your partners in moving forward together in wealth, wisdom, and worth. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team.